Hi. Good morning, guys. How are you doing today? Now, today we'll be talking about uh, paper modeling. Hello? Signify if you can hear me. Yeah, put the shutters. Shut. Okay, good. Hello? You're answering. I'm bored, so let's play the Kim Lambo, Ryan. Check his name, Ryan. Check his name. All right, as I was saying, I said today we'll be discussing paper modeling. And first, before we talk about paper, who can tell me what paper is itself? Tell me what paper is. Let somebody tell me what paper is. Can I get a response? I want to know what paper is first. Let somebody tell me what paper is. Yes, yes, yes. Let's have a response. What is paper? Somebody should tell us what paper is. All right, let's hear you. Can somebody tell me what uh, paper is? So, All right. Paper is something made from wood. Yes, paper is a substance made from wood. Who said this? Paper is a substance made from wood pulp. That is beautiful. Paper is a substance that is made from uh, wood pulp. I love that. We actually, when you say wood, a lot of you are going to the fact that uh, the pulp is, is gotten from wood itself. But paper is made from paper pulp. What is that paper pulp? Paper is something made from soft wood. Uh, yes, uh, yes, yes, yes. That's when you say wood pulp. Anyway, now when when you make paper from wood pulp, the 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 paper is in a way sieved, meshed, and so on and so forth. But now let's start from how paper itself started. It was something that started by cooking wood pulp. Let's put it that way, and then. Um, it became a manuscript. And who can guess which tribe or which country paper uh, itself started from? Who can guess? China, that is brilliant, look at it. China, paper was first discovered and made in China. That is beautiful, beautiful. Farida, that is beautiful. Paper was made in China, this is beautiful. Now. You see, today, if you look around you, you will see that we have a lot of types of papers. And uh, yeah, you, we are writing, I will show you the, the stuff that we are writing now. You will see that we have a lot of kind of papers. We have pelican, we have cardboard, we have thick, uh, a, a carton paper. It's in a lot of forms. And these papers are all useful in series of ways. But today, we'll be talking about how that paper can be used for modeling. You know, when you see paper, it was actually designed for writing, for keeping things, and for storing messages, especially secrets in those days when the Chinese people designed this paper. But now, we want to talk about how we can use that paper for modeling. Now, before we do that, let's do this. Look at this. You can see the topic there. It says paper modeling. Now, let's go to the introduction. It says, in our introduction, you are going to see it's not sugar paper. Yeah, there's sugar paper. There's sugar paper. Good morning, Sharif. Sharif, how are you doing? Now, we have this paper, as we know, it was invented in China in 
you know, the year AD 105 by the Chinese people. So suddenly it was thin, created from flat formal sprawl mold that is made from vegetable fiber. Now, by this period, the Chinese people were overridden by war from the Arab nation. Now, this war led to paper spreading from China to Japan to Korea to South Asia and so on and so forth. No, 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 sugar paper is not made. Sugar paper is not made from sugar. It is made from, uh, it's just called sugar paper because the surface is like sugar, but it's not uh, sugar actually. Good morning, Fatima, how are you doing? How was your week? Now, so as you are saying, we, yes, write it. If you can see from there, write everything that is there. That is supposed to be our topic in class today. Now, if you can see very well, you will see that he's talking about how the Chinese, you know, develop that paper making techniques and how they transform it to what we all use today. It's still in Japan. Some of their buildings and some houses are still made with paper. I want to delay this a little bit so that you can write so that I can move forward. I will show you samples of the modeling and how we can uh, do that. Now, as we are saying, uh, in, in terms of paper modeling, you know, before we can go into paper modeling, we have to understand what paper itself is. We have to know what paper is. And that is what you have discovered. Paper is made from wood pulp. After paper is made from wood pulp, it becomes something that is, you know, grinded or maybe flattened or maybe rolled or produced into a sheet. That sheet is what you see today. That some, look at this, for example. This is, a, this is a tissue paper. You see that this tissue paper has a kind of fiber that is very, very soft. Very, very soft. Look at this paper. This is not tissue paper. There is the difference between this paper and the tissue paper. You see the way one is. One is strong, one is very soft. This, when you squeeze, you get the sound of this. You cannot hear any sound from this one. It shows that this paper is stronger than this one. At the same time, if you look at this, you will see that the quality of this one is stronger than the quality of this. This is twice this, as you can see. So as we are saying, the paper led to the different kind of, uh, <clears throat> of papers that we use in production, that we use in making craft. Some of them, you see they are used for the back, for the back of, uh, for example, this diary. And at the back of this diary, you will see that the paper, is, you can hear the sound, very, very thick. Despite that, Another set of paper is still used to cover the inner part. This inner part paper is softer than the major part of the paper that is covering the outside. The one that is covering the outside. So we have different kind of names for these papers. Please write the notes so that we can move forward for these different kind of papers. Now, after the Chinese people discovered paper, something happened to them. They went into war. When they went into war, they went down to the Arabian nation side, the Arabian nation took them as slaves and you know, they, they, they went to war, how do we put it? Then at the end of the day, during that period, the, the Chinese were taken as slaves. And when they were taken as slaves, they were forced that before we can free you, before we can free you, we have to know the secret of how you make paper. And this is how the secret of paper moves from China to Asia, to the Arab nation, to the Muslim world, down to the European nation. The European nation got to know about this later on in the day. And when they got the message, Europe quickly adapted because the Muslim people already developed, they designed a paper making meal in some part of these European nations. And the European too got the idea of how paper could be made, how paper could be used, and how paper could be formed. So today you will see that there's no basic, there's no, there's no place you go to that you don't find paper. It had the office, it had, it, it, it had schools, everybody uses paper. In fact, the money that we spend is made from paper. That paper comes in series though. The kind of paper used for money in Nigeria is really the kind of money used for paper, for money in Turkey. It's really the kind of paper used for money in uh, maybe Saudi Arabia, or maybe in America, and so on and so forth. Sure you understand? So this is what we are saying, that our papers have to have series of designs and so on and so forth, so that at the end of the day, we'll be able to now understand what paper is, types of paper, and so on and so forth. So, 
have we been able to copy the node? I want to move forward. I want to show you some samples over there so that you'll be able to see the kind of uh, papers, their usage, and so on and so forth. But today, we said we will be talking about paper modeling. So when you say modeling, when did Africa know about paper? Uh, uh, Basaki, Africans are one of the late entries in terms of paper. During the period of the slave trade era, a lot of things were brought. Some of this is the manuscript. The manuscript is when you write like the Quran, you write part of the Bible, maybe you write part of the storyline, or maybe the map that they used in coming to Africa then was with the white people. So these are the first contact of paper. But you know, when they started writing, they will be able to see how the paper looks like from the white people. In fact, the paper then was not actually white like this. The paper was more or less like creamy color. It wasn't bleached. This is bleached paper. You know, since we say paper is made from wood pulp, look at these two. You will see a difference there. One, this is brighter, and this is a bit creamy. I don't know if you are seeing it like that over there, but here, upper end, what do you see? Which of the paper is white? This one. This one is white. Which one is cream? This, this one. one. You see, so Abraham was able to differentiate because it's closer to the paper, the ones that are white and the ones that are not white. All right, now, so as we are saying, we are going to be going into paper modeling. And if we are going into paper modeling, let us see if you understand the word uh, modeling. Let's see if you understand the word modeling. You will know what paper is now. I want to know if you know what uh, paper modeling is. Shaping, shaping. Can we have a better explanation for that? Sama. Sama, let's hear from you. Sama, are you still online? Let's hear from you. I think I can see her now like before I used to see her before. Abdul Latif, good morning. How are you? How was your night? Now, as you are saying, uh, I want to, any of you, Sama is not there. Let's see who understands what the mod modeling is. You know, we are talking about paper modeling now. We've talked about paper. You don't know what paper is. I hope it's written down in it. So now I want to know if you understand what paper modeling is. I, I gave you an insight earlier that everybody, most good morning. I gave you earlier that everybody uses paper. There's no office you go to without a paper. The money we spend in Nigeria is made from paper. The tissue paper itself is made from paper. But the paper spirits, they have different kind of uh, grammage. When you say grammage, grammage is talking about the uh, the, the level of uh, um, height, let's put it that way, that the paper is. One of the teletro is very, very soft. The grammage is very, very minute. Minute in the sense that the grammage of this tissue paper is so small that you can easily tear the tissue paper. Or when you put it in water, it easily, it easily dissolves because it's made from pulp. Now, but if you look at this, the grammage is stronger. This could be around 75 grammage. And then, um, this is going to be around 100 gram thicker. The thicker it is, that is when you know. Uh, the, but I'm just trying to give you the differences. Look at the one for this jota, for example. The grammage should be 85. The grammage is 85. So with that grammage, it determines how thick or or how how soft the paper is, especially. Yes, paper models, also called card models, or Paper crafts are models considered mainly from sheets of heavy paper, paperboard, cast off. This is brilliant. Look at where this is brilliant. That is the idea. It is also called craft, or it is also called paper craft. You know, I, 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 I am happy that you all know what paper model is and you know what paper craft is. I, let's go straight to then the modeling itself. What is that modeling? Somebody said shaping. Uh, I wouldn't really say it's shaping because when you say shaping, shaping can only be done when you are using clay to draw. Or maybe when we use paper mache, you all are aware about paper mache. You know what paper mache is? That's when you soak paper into water, then you add starch or you add glue to it. But then you squeeze away the excess water so that the paper will adhere to the glue. And when once it adheres to the glue, the two can now be used together. The origami is there anything like origami? We have origami, we have origami, uh, yeah, origami, yes. But origami, I don't know if there's anything like origami. 
Arugame should be a name sheriff just uh, formed for us. So as I was saying, when you say origami or kirigami, these are use of papers to create models, to create models. And when these models are made, the models are made in a way that you can form shapes. So that's why when she said shaping, we almost agree with the word shaping because the papers are used to form shapes. Remove the iPhone. Yes, paper folding. Paper folding, yes. Use this button. Use this button now. Use it. All right. So, as we are saying, you will see that I told you, I'll go to the next slide. I told you that you should be careful what you type or what you say. Once you say something that doesn't go with the class, you're going to be removed. You're going to be removed. And I don't buy the idea that you're using nicknames and so on and so forth. This is a class. It's not meant, to be, it's not meant for people who are garage people or maybe it's not meant for people who are paper sellers. It's meant for students. So behave. I act like you are in class right now. Stop acting as if you are in your house, you are eating suya or maybe you are eating whatever. So now as we are saying, we said paper modeling. It, it, it helps to, uh, it, is, it is good for you as students to understand what modeling is so that once it's time you want to do paper modeling or maybe origami or origami, you'll be used to how to do that. Let's go to the next slide. like this now. Now look at this. I hope you all can see that. Can you guys see that? If you are not seeing it, let me know. Yes, beautiful. Now this is paper modeling. You will see on the paper uh, itself, you have some rough edges. You have flowers, you have fence, you have window, you have a door. <laughs> All this is made from paper. Where Iman, going back to the previous slide, I told you to copy on time. That's why I was busy talking, talking, so that you're able to have time to copy the notes. Eh? It's quite uncalled for when we have a long way to go, then I'll be going back and forth again. It's quite uncalled for. So, as we are saying, hold on, maybe we'll still go back to that. Who's talking about gingerbread house? Yes, somebody said it looks like a gingerbread house. <laughs> okay, anyway, now when you look at the body, the rough uh, looks, yeah, you look at the gay cast from too. Well, it's paper work, though. It's paper work. Now, let me show you the next slide. Look at this. Does it look like cake? Does it look like uh, maybe it's made out of cake? Good. It doesn't look like it's made out of cake. It's made out of paper. And the paper, you can see, the person was approaching building a house or modeling a house with paper. And this is a house that looks so, you know, like a, a fantasy house where you have a lot of courtrooms, courtyards, and people staying and so on. And can see the height of the house. So this is paper modeling. This is what we mean by paper modeling. Now let's go to this. Yeah, it's made out of cardboard. It's made out of cardboard. No, this may be the, this may be considered a broad category that contains origami and card modeling. Origami is the process of making the paper model by folding a single paper without using glue or cutting. While the variation origami does, that means when you talk of origami, 
use a single paper to create shape. But when you talk of kirigami, you cut series of papers. Like if we have, um, if this is a full paper, by the time you cut like this, it forms another type of paper. By the time you cut like this, it forms another one. By the time you cut it like this, it forms another one. Cut it like this, like this. So what I've just done is to explain to you Kirigami. In Kirigami, you cut pieces of paper and you stick them together to form your shape. You don't call it uh, you cannot you, you cannot call it uh, uh, the same name that you call uh, origami because in origami we don't cut, but in origami we cut. Now, card modeling is making scale models from sheets of pieces. If you understand that very well, it's telling you that card making is made from foil. So that method, you have sheets of card stocks. Um, let me ask you, that's not the card game. Yes, yes. No, no, no. That paper. Yes. yes. Look at this. Ever look at this. This is a card. This is a card. This card is called card stock. It's thicker, stronger than this one that I thought. Now, you see, if you apply glue. So, if you apply the glue to this card, any other part, and place it, for example, on this one, it stays like that. That is Kirigami. But look at this. This paper is soft. If you also place the epoxy glue to it like this, it will stay. That is also Kirigami. But in Kirigami, it means we are cutting. We are using pieces of paper that we cut and design to make our design or to make our model. But in origami, you use that single paper to make our model. I hope you guys understand that. I hope I'm not confusing you in that. I hope I'm not confusing you in that. Now let's go forward. It says sheets of cast on which the past were pointed printed usually color usually full in color these pieces this person anyway these pieces you know will be cut out folded something like this Now, if it is folded, look at this. Look at this. It's folded, but it gives us a shape. And that shape, let me try and scan this. Look at this. I don't know if you guys can see this. Let me bend this a little bit. Okay, okay. You see it now? No. Like this. Yes, okay. Now, if you look at it, you'll be able to see the paper standing. That paper standing is made from origami. We folded the paper. And after folding the paper, we tried to make it stand. And yes, it's true because it's 
origami. That is the paper. Now, it's a folder, it's called and glued together. Paper card is that of combining these smaller types to build complex creations such as wearable suits of armor. I know you'll be wondering what that is. Life size characters and accurate weapon models. Yes, all this thing is talking about the ones you use in movies, for example, as in props. What is props? Where you make a knife from paper, you make a sword from paper. Everything you need from paper. But even if we don't say everything we need from paper, we are saying all the designs that you're going to make should come from that your paper folding or paper sticking together. Sometimes the more pieces can be punched out. More frequently, the brain parts must be cut out, edges may be scored, and the folding. And the folding. At all. at all. We're having a class. I can see some of you are still busy writing what is all part of this class on your screen. Now, sometimes the body piece can be punched out. You know what punched out is when you have um let's do this way, you have this paper now. If I'm holding the paper, what I do like this. The paper is punched out. So punch out is when you push the paper inward. Inward. More frequently, the print parts are more must be cut out. There's a movie they did that. There's a movie they did that, but I can't remember the name of the movie right now. But that's the method they use in making props, in making costumes, in making other stuffs that you use for, uh, let's say, props, knives, battery weapon, guns, all these things are made from paper. But basically, our own stock of paper is the paper that we're going to be using for modeling the house, modeling NTIC, designing television, designing chairs, designing radio, designing our car, so on and so forth. All this must be done in paper. Now, let's move to the next slide. This is in my class. Hmm? I'm going to change it. I know that it's Alright, this may be paper model, this may be considered as a brush category, you know, that contains origami and card modeling. Origami is the process of making a paper model by folding a single paper without using a glue. That's what I said earlier. Why the version origami does? If I tell you to tell me the difference between origami and origami, what would you do? What was my question again? All right, as I was saying, I said origami, origami, the variation in card modeling, scale model, sheet of card stocks, and which people are printing. Now, yes. That is what I asked. That's my question. Somebody answered. He said origami is done without tearing while the other is done with tearing. That is beautiful. I love that. I love that. And then Jamil, we are calling people name here. I don't like that. I don't like that. It's not interesting when you call people name. Now, 
one is done while you tear and you glue or stick it together one is done without doing that and you are able to separate the two okay let's go forward So, yeah, meal. All right, like we are saying, are you done with the notes? Are you guys done with the notes? Next slide, I'm going to the next slide. Okay, fine. All right, this is the next slide. Look at this. Trying to remove this one. No, that cancel the attack. Just press that. Uh, leave it like that. Now, look at the type of glue that you can use for either of them. There's one thing I like about origami. In origami, when you, you fold your paper, you don't have any stress again. There's no wala. Because what you are folding. But in the other one, I want to build that uh, cane. You know, it's raining now in this period. So there's a way I used to build the cane and put it on, on water. Oh, no, I don't know. I know how to do it. Let me remember. I, remember. But I, I know I, this one. Which one? Uh, like, huh. No, I'm not doing part. I want to make that one for both. I remember, I just want to try and remember how we used to do it there. You have to bend it like this. I remember, you have to bend. After bending, come on, let me try. I just want to remember how we used to make um, a oh. boat that we normally put, since it's raining now, and we put it on water. So I want to try and remember, there's a way we used to do it then. That's what I'm trying to, you know, it's been a while I've done the boat, but I can still do others. Oh, this one looks like that thing they call a bed. Now, as you can see, this is a uh, we trying me. I'm the prem trying to make uh, maybe a bed or maybe a boat by folding the paper in a single form. This is called origami. This is origami. But if I have to, we have a gun. Not that good. Okay. Now, if we have to have it in this shape and put this one on top like this now, with a glue or with a gum, you understand? We already folded this and we, or maybe we cut. We now use a glue, a glue or a gum to place this here. This is kirigami. And this is origami. You see the difference in the two now. This one is gummed. This one is folded. The process of folding without gumming is called origami. The process of cutting and sticking with a glue is called origami. Now, you will see it's a polyvinyl acetate glue. This kind of glue, I don't know. You are not yet in SS3 or 2. 
that I'll be saying that you should be explaining to me what uh, polyvinyl is or uh, acetate glue. This is a kind of glue that is made from uh, uh, combining starch and some part of the, I think, animal bone together to make this type of glue is called PVA. And this kind of melody sessions are usually pre-printed. That is, if you are printing, good. Okay, I found it. APRM has been a very good assistant in this class. So it means all of you are going to uh, compensate when you come around with some kind of a, a yeah. clapping in your class. So I want to show you how we are going to No, I know I said something. We have to remove this thing. Mm. Now, you see, in that one, you have to rub the edge. See what I'm doing? You rub the edge with your glue. After that has been done, I'll show you. After that has been done, you place it. You place it. After I added the, I'll carry it up. After I added the, the glue to it, you place it like this for a while. Hold it. Hold it for some time. When you hold it for some time, check on that. Now, look at this. This is it. I rub at the edge of my papers. I rub it with the water glue. This glue, let me put it aside so that it to dry off to not affect our class. That glue, this one that you're seeing, I or can all of you see this? Yeah, somebody made a boat. That's beautiful. Can any of you see this? You can see this. Now this glue, this gum, is what you apply. Yes, glue. It's what you apply, just like I did, to the surface, to the edges, like this. Always apply it to the edges, whatever you call it, to make your designs. Now, how we are done, we are done with the notes. We are done with the notes. Leave it to me. We'll see it later on. All right. Yes, you don't apply too much glue. If you apply too much glue, I pity you. You won't get the desired result that you need. What's going on here? Can we move this one too? Can we move this one? Okay, it's okay like this. Now, my assignment. Azan. Ridwan. Ridwan, take your time. Now you are saying. As you are saying. Oh, oh, I'm coming. Assignment.
It's the network. Sorry, it's the network. That's why we've been trying. I was trying to demonstrate how you can construct the uh, origami yourself or how you can make the origami yourself. It's the network. So now, assignment. This, uh, this is going to be two types of assignment. One, you submit in school. The other, you do while you are at home. And I have to see it if you are coming online next week. I have to see it. Now, number one. Create an artwork using. No, I don't want both. If I use both, it's only, as soon as possible. As soon as possible. now using paper. That's one. Two. Design for the next. Next class. Hmm? What are we going to design? I want to make a book. Oh, design. For the next class, design for the next class a, a boat. Why I said a boat is that uh, you will see that these days it's raining everywhere. You will see that the only thing that is happening right in our environment is rain. Even in our school, there's rain. So when you design a boat, with a boat, we can be able to move around. So I want to see, you are bringing it to school now. You are bringing it to school. So one, I want you to use paper, but I want it to be fine. But there's one thing I want you to understand. You see that some of these paper works, can be so realistic, but it's actually made from paper. And I'm not saying you should, you should mash. You know, when you mash, it becomes paper mache. And paper mache, it means you are going to use uh, starch and um, you are going to use starch and you are going to use uh, paper. Two minutes left. Starch and paper. That, I'm not saying you should use that because that can be painted as well. But I'm saying now, like the two we discussed in class, we have done kirigami and we have done origami. Is it that you, you fold it to make it or you cut it to design it? So I'm talking of the design. So your assignment, so we can end up our class. Create an artwork using paper. I don't want to know if it's a boat. I don't want to know if it's going to be a house, but whatever you feel that you can be creative about, that you can design that will work well for us, that's what I'm talking about now. Then the next one, design for the next class, a boat. I want to see it, and at the same time, I'm still going to collect. Are we good to go? Any question before we round up? Any question? I just said you are going to bring to, to, to school. How do we design? Are you saying how do we design or how do we? I just showed you an example. Look at what we did here. You can see what we did here. Look at what we did here. We use the gum and we stuck these together. You cut. I explained to you that you can cut, you can stick pieces. It depends on what you're designing. It depends on what you're designing. Yes, you're submitting in school. You're resuming soon. You are coming back soon. So get prepared for that. Well, so that's the way we're going to be three, two, one, five.